What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons. And today I'm gonna show you how to draw a treasure chest. Now what we're gonna start off drawing, we're gonna first get the guidelines in place. The way I usually draw things, I start out with basic shapes. And if you know your basic shapes, that'll help you out in this video. But there's not really much to talk about, so let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with sort of like a rectangular prism type shape. We're gonna start off with a line that does something like this, and it's gonna look as if it's in perspective. So a rectangular prism looks like a square on one side, and then the other base is a rectangle. We're gonna draw a shape that looks something like that. But we are gonna alter it so it looks like a shape that would fit on a treasure chest. So instead of going forward using just this shape, we're gonna alter it a little bit so that like, this line isn't really straight, it can go inwards just a little bit, and this line as well, and then this line can kind of still be straight, and then I'm going to make it come down a little bit. So now that that shape's in place, we're going to then begin to draw the lid. So when I draw the lid, I like to think of it as a cylinder that's been sliced in half. So when we start off drawing the lid, we can make a line that comes up like so, like right above this line and then the rectangular prism lines that we drew like this. We're going to draw another one connecting to the end of this line that we just drew and then we're going to make this same line right here. Alright, and then now we can begin to draw the cylinder type shape which is, you know, like a semicircle which is what we're going to draw here. And then draw this same line at the top. And then finish this one. And now it looks like a treasure chest shape, but I think I wanna bring this one in a bit. So now that the basic guidelines are in place, so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna one, add some uh, details to the actual chest, and I'm also gonna add some guidelines for like the treasure itself that's inside this little box. So I'm gonna start to, I'm gonna start off doing that first. Right over here, this edge, I'm gonna draw like a little hump inside of the treasure chest, and that's gonna be the treasure. Whatever the treasure may be, it can be pretty much anything. What I'm gonna draw today, I'm gonna keep it simple by drawing just some gold coins. But if you're drawing this treasure chest too, you can draw anything you want that's inside of this chest. Also, we want to get rid of the lines here that we drew because we're not gonna be able to see those when we draw the treasure or the gold coins in my case. The gold coins will be hiding those so we won't be able to see that line. Okay, and now what I like to do when I'm drawing treasure chests, this is totally optional to you guys, I like to add little metal corners to it. But I'd rather just show you to help better explain it. So I'm just gonna add those guidelines in place now. Now what I just drew, just we can pretend those are like metal metal corners because you know treasure chests have locks right and you know like key locks they're like made of metal steel anything shiny shiny material like and when i draw a treasure chest i like to add that material all throughout the treasure chest and not in just one specific area so i got the guidelines for that up here already and i'm going to draw those ones down here as well So everything's in place now. Before I get into actually drawing the gold coins, like I said, we're gonna draw this old key lock that I was talking about. So like I said, it was gonna be some uh, metal material, metal steel, whatever, a shiny material. So I'm gonna make that into the center of the chest, like so. You can make it a rectangle, a square, whatever. I wanna make it into a little box. And then just draw an old key lock shape in the middle. And then like a little latch right here. I don't know what to call it, but something that goes in like this little slot here to lock it. And now we can finally draw in the gold coins. And for this, if you want to go the easy way and just draw gold coins inside, what you can do is just draw little humps on that shape and leave it like that. That's totally up to you. But what I want to do is I want to actually draw every single gold coin that's in this chest. And I'm going to speed it up so it won't take too much time out of the video. So let's do that. Thank you. 
Okay, now like I said, what I wanted to do is I wanted to add some metal corners to it. So up here, I'm gonna add like a little corner here. And then like a thinner piece of metal going in between here, like, let me see if I can better explain this. Okay, so I got a corner here, and I got a whole corner up here, coming towards here and here. So all this up here will be one thing. And then it'd be three corners here, here, and here. And then a thinner piece of metal right here on this strip, here, here, and here. And nothing will change from what's up here. I hope that makes sense, but you guys will get a better visual of it when I complete the illustration. But if anything, it's pretty much complete at the moment, so you can leave it just like this. But for now, I'm going to draw it in and complete the drawing. And this is what I mean about the metal corners. I got one that's very thick and it's on the corner and one that's very thin to help, you know, kind of connect them together. But aside from that, that's how you draw a treasure chest. If you like my video, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I got my nigga like Pat